was the fiat. You bitches can't even spell fiat. Okay, y'all. So, you know, I got me a new car. And if you saw it on my Instagram, sorry, my shorts are falling. If you saw it on my Instagram, you know it's a fiat. You bitches can't even spell fiat. Let me calm down. But yes, I got my new baby. Her name is Rosie the Dawn. Feel me? She a bad bitch. So let me tell y'all a little bit about this before I, you know, show y'all what my baby looking like because she a bad bitch. Um... So, Rosie is a manual, and it's a stick shift for y'all that don't know. So, in Europe, just like in the United States, the most common car is the automatic car, which is a regular car for us. The uh, most common car here is um, a manual car, and I had no idea how to drive no freaking car. Like, the day I was going to go see the car, um, or maybe the day before, I don't know. But I was on YouTube trying to watch, and I was just like... So it's three little pedals. Mm. So YouTube did not help. His video was pretty good, but yeah, it was mm -mm, it was not. So you know we got the the clutch, the brake, and the gas. If you ain't never drove one before, it's it's not it's it's not lit. Cause that shit is scary, like especially stalling. Oh my god! And then the people here drive so crazy. They be in a rush to go, I don't know where, but they walk so slow. Everything else they do is so slow, but they like, when they driving, it's, it's a hot mess. They drive like this close to you. You know, in America, I'd be ready to fight. You know, I'd be like, but I'm like trying to work on it because I don't like, you know, being a rowdy ass person. I've really chilled out a little bit, a lot of bit. But like this shit's so irritating. Like, but they walk across the street like this in a rush for nothing but they drive to rush to get somewhere just move slow as hell when they get out the car i heard but i was gonna put a sticker in the back of my car to be like don't ride close to me because i'm a new like a new manual driver but i i've got finally got the hang of it it took me less than a month some of y'all might be like damn a month is a long time to be learning you know how to drive that car but no it's it's very different from a um automatic car so <sighs> child when i finally like when she finally gave me the keys to the car after we got everything switched over she got in the car with her husband to go back to her um her on base hotel because they're um about the pcs meaning you know go to the next base or i don't know if he was getting out her husband was getting out or not but it was like pcs to back to the states so a lot of people be like um yeah the cars in europe are so cheap might as well get one they have it sent back to the united states but there's a reason why people cannot do that and do not do that is because the european specs you can't you can't take them back if they're european specs they have to stay here so when you pcs you have to leave that car here it can't go back to the united states so that's why a lot of people don't buy like really nice cars here. Um, I paid twenty four hundred for my car, first hand, and the uh, should two thousand one. Next hint. She only has like. 71,000 something miles on it which is really good for a 2001 that's why I'm like oh warn me that and I can't wait to sh for y'all to see her I can't but um when she like handed me the keys over all the paperwork you know I was like she let me drive back by myself I'm like shit And I had gotten a little bit better because I had been running around with her for a little while. Like, a few days before. So, I'm like, shit. 
I'm like, okay, I remember how to, you know, bag out. I know when you put it in, like put the um, emergency brake down, if you're on like a little hill, like even a slight hill, it's gonna roll back. So I put it down, I'm like, damn, it ain't rolling. I'm like, okay, maybe I'm not on a hill, which I was not, I was on, you know, flat ground. So I like put the, the car in reverse and I'm like coming out the clutch and pressing the gas at the same time. I'm like, why the hell the car not moving? It's supposed to be rolling back a little bit. And I'm just like, what the hell? So I'm on the phone with my mama because she know how to drive a stick. I'm trying to like figure out like why I'm not moving. So I'm like, I got the clutch all the way down, emergency brake. It wasn't all the way down, but you still move with it, like not being all the way down, but it was like down, but the light was still on for it. And if you've driven a stick before, you know, when you put your foot on the clutch and the gas, it's like, it's like an automatic car. If you do that, when you hear that, you know, you about to take off like that, but it's not like that with a stick. So when I'm hearing that, I'm getting scared. I'm like thinking I'm doing something wrong. I'm like, Bruh. so I'm like, I don't want to call her back over here to come ride with me so I can drop her off at the hotel and then try myself back in my room so I'm like bro so I ended up having to call her back and she was like I'm so sorry you know I feel like I left you stranded I'm like nah girl you good I thought I had this I was trying to be grown but I played myself you know so when she came back I figured out what I was doing was not wrong it's just the noise is what scares me like the noise on the automatic car I'm not an automatic car but a manual car it's scary because it sounds like you about to just take off like that just a rocket somewhere so i wasn't doing it wrong but i need still need to push the um emergency brake down a little more when i <laughs> so i'm riding with her did i stall that day yeah i did actually i stalled maybe like three or four times that day it was so ugly because she was teaching me how to um like go to a stop sign like go back in neutral and she was also um teaching me how to go like when i come back out of neutral to go to first and like to go and i was like jerking the car like this while i go i don't do that no more though and then oh my god once when i saw it was people right there it was so embarrassing and his cars behind me it was so embarrassing but i guess my arm when I like start, I accidentally put it in third, and when I start, like my arm hit the horn, so it's like, like making noise, like the horn just going. I'm just like dying inside, like I'm panicking inside. I'm just like, oh shit, oh shit. She was like, no, just put it in, in neutral, turn the car off, turn it back on, and let's go. <sighs> Finally got it together. Stalling is just like the ugliest shit ever. Oof, let me tell you about this other story. I talked about it on Snapchat, la no, not Snapchat, Instagram last week on my story. I told y'all what happened, so if you, you may have saw it. But we're coming back from party. My first time driving um, off base, and I did really good. I stopped once because um, we were trying to U-turn in the street. I almost got caught because when I was, like, right after I finished, it was a carbon area, which is, like, their police coming. And I was just like, mm. but when we got to the gate, so when you get to the gate, you got to show security forces your military ID to get on the base. So it's two little speed bumps. So I'm trying to get over the speed bump and I'm going too slow. So I stall on the speed bump in front of like three security forces dudes. And they're dying laughing. I'm just like, y'all bitches. Like, that shit, it was embarrassing as fuck. Then we're dying laughing. We're all dying laughing. Them and then. The two that was in the car meet um jasmine and denaria so we finally showed them my rd i'm like can y'all not watch me and they just sent me there like watching me like as i'm about to you know take off again i'm about to i'm trying to take off to start going and they're already like staring me down so they can laugh and i stall again Dude took off running behind the freaking building, dying laughing at me. I'm just like, we were all crying. That shit was funny as hell, but it was embarrassing as hell, too. But after that, your girl got it together. I stall here and there, like, very rarely now. But my mama told me how to not stall, which is 
to press the clutch in when you feel like you're about to stall. Stalling is what was scaring the shit out of me because when it stalled, it like shake a little bit, like mm -hmm, just like whoa. And it's very scary, especially like what people drive here and how close they drive to you. Like this girl, this girl almost hit me one day, and I wanted to act up because was like, "Bitch, don't get that close to me. Like, don't rush me when I'm driving." So now I don't. I still don't go to third. I just stay in first and second. So I got practice going to third. Um, but I be putting my hazards on, like, "Bitch, go around," because I ain't going no more than forty. Period. Um, but yeah, I'm about to insert like the videos of my daughter, Rosie the Don. And um, I still do have storm in my Toyota Corolla in the United States, but I gotta wait till the place here open back up for them to ship my car here. So once I get that car, I'm gonna sell. I might keep Rosie. I don't know, but I might sell that car because Jasmine wants her. So I might sell her. They're probably like, "Bitch, you got a nice car. Can you about to sell her?" You'll see my pretty girl in the the videos on the insert and the pictures on the insert don't come for her because she's a bad bitch and she get me to where i need to be okay 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 so enjoy don't talk shit next hint because that's my bitch frozen and i'm like period because per but yeah, I hope y'all, you know, enjoy it. A little car tour. Here's Calvin! <laughs> what a mess. God gives gifts and sometimes he wraps them in a hurry. You rap about an Audi too much because my Audi paid off.